I read an article by Deng Yu Liu et al. called Bistability and Oscillations in Gene Regulation Mediated by Small Non-Coding RNAs and they propose a system of differential equations, actually two systems of them, which exhibit regulatory dynamics uh, just by interaction of mRNA, sRNA and protein levels. I decided to take one of their models and implement it in Python just for practice and I tried to visualize it in a very useful manner. Um, I used matplotlib to use uh, to plot my results. I coded the differential equations with NumPy and integrated them using a runge kutter force order method. The trajectories you can see in this picture are starting at uh, random points, of course. Um, these random points are totally arbitrary and if I were to use different distributions of starting points I would see a small or a little different picture they would still the trajectories would still end at the same uh, points of equilibrium but they would they would actually um, look a little different and the other parameters of the equations uh, were taken from from the article itself uh, they set in the figures which parameter they used and I chose a sigma especially to have two equilibrium points. The whole point of this exercise is the, the bistability that arises at a certain at a certain regime of parameters. Um, to understand the system we need to know that mRNA and sRNA interact and the sRNA can inhibit, inhibit the mRNA and the mRNA is responsible for the, uh, the levels of the protein. Of course the degradation of protein levels, the level of mRNA and sRNA are also parameters that have to be specified and we can see though that regardless which that regardless which um, start point we choose we will see that it the system will reach the same endpoints um, the whole point of the exercise is that uh, this regime of parameters we will see two equilibrium points these uh, two points have been marked here. I actually computed them. Um, I, I saved the uh, saved the points, the endpoints uh, of the trajectories uh, to an array, and then I clustered it using k-means clustering with k equals two. So we have two clusters here, and these two, these two centroids were then used for these two points that I plotted extra uh, to it. Another point of the system is that it will accelerate if it is um, starting at an extreme point. As I can see, the, as we can see, the equilibria are um, at about point I should have made a point of remembering the exact points but we can see about point 2 and point 6 in the protein levels and we can see RNA is at 8 and mRNA I have to wait 
RNA is at S RNA is at about ten and four and so you can see that I chose very ex extreme starting points and we can see the one feature of the system is that they will accelerate to to well uh, to reach the equilibrium points while uh, I chose to make a video about it because I think that it is very uh, beautiful and because it shows the dynamics of the system a little bit better than normal bifurcation diagrams or um, two-dimensional graphs just basically a show off if you you can see that here is some kind of um, axis and of course and depending on where you start um, the equilibria you will reach from one starting point will always be the same because this system is completely de deterministic and of course in a real system we would have some kind of stochastic element that we can't really measure and another point I'd like to make is that this is by no way by no means a um, chaotic system and that and that is quite good for nature generally because it is quite stable <laughs>